can we target the center of our chest? So there are some mixed opinions on this and I want to break down the science behind this and give you my overview on how this works. Hey everyone, welcome to Science Based Fitness. My name is Adam. If you're new to the channel, I create fitness content every week. I'm a certified personal trainer. I've been training since 2010 and I have a bachelor's in exercise science. If you're someone who feels like the center of your chest is slacking and you wanna grow that middle of our chest, is this something that's possible? Now this is a hot button topic because there seems to be some mixed opinions on this. So I'm gonna break down my perspective and my understanding of the science and allow you to use that however it can best fit you. So if we wanna target the center of our chest, we would work out the inner chest muscle. But wait, when we look at the anatomy of the chest, we have the pec major, which has two heads, the clavicular head, which is the upper portion, and the sternal head, which makes up the rest of the chest. And there's no center of the chest muscle. Now underneath this pec major, we have our pec minor, which essentially picks up a lot of the exact same movements, just a smaller muscle. Yet there is no muscle along this area that we can identify as a muscle we can target. So don't tune out just yet, even though I'm saying that we can't target the center of the chest, there is a way, right? We see guys with massive chests and huge center of their chest all the time. Now I think it's important that I break this down and explain how a muscle fiber works. So let's look at one single muscle fiber. It originates from the sternum here and inserts in the top of the head of the humerus. This is where the problem arises. Now we don't have a mechanism or a system to grow only half a fiber at a time. Muscle fibers work with an all or nothing approach. So either the muscle fiber contracts or it doesn't. If a task is harder and more muscle fibers are required, there'll be additional muscle fibers recruited. This is known as motor unit summation. So why do some people have more muscle at the center of their chest? One answer is pretty easy and it has to do with genetics. Now I found a picture of someone I think that demonstrates this really well, and that's Zac Efron. If we look at three pictures of him, you can see in a younger photo of him on the left, all the way to when he was on Baywatch on the right. And he's done a great job at putting on muscle and growing his chest but in proportion with the rest of his mass gained. You can see that he has gotten bigger and the center of his chest has grown, but he's accomplished this by putting mass on overall. Does that mean this is all doom and gloom if you wanna grow that center of your chest? Not necessarily. I think there's a few exercises we can mix in to better assist hitting the center of our chest. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is I feel there's a difference in the type of workouts you're doing. If you're someone in the gym just trying to lift as heavy as you can, you might not be focusing on your muscle to mind connection. What that essentially means is the muscle you're trying to hit, target, and utilize, you're not emphasizing that specific muscle. For example, if we're on a bench press, we can get our front deltoids involved, we can really use momentum, or what seems to be more of a trend with bodybuilders is having a slower approach, controlling and really focusing on the squeeze through the muscle you're trying to target. You can do this muscle to mind connection with every type of movement that you do. And this is where I think we can have better chest activation and see improvement in growing that center of our chest. What can happen is we can use exercises that we feel targeting and emphasizing the growth of our pec better. We can look at EMG data and show you that bench pressing is an extremely effective exercise at activating our muscle fibers. But if you're someone that can focus on that muscle to mind connection better with dumbbells, then emphasizing something like that might be better for you. The fly is a perfect example of an exercise that typically gets categorized as a good center of the chest builder. And when we take a closer look at something like this, we can see that when I'm squeezing through the center of my chest, it looks like I'm using a lot of my inner chest. Yes, those muscle fibers are active, but like I explained earlier, this is an all or nothing approach. But we can alter this stimulus through a few different variables, like the weight we're using, the type of exercise we do, the speed at which we do the exercise. There's a lot of different ways. And when we put ourselves in a situation where we're shortening the muscle fiber, we still have the same amount of fibers but over a shorter distance, so the muscle's going to look and appear larger. And you can see the difference when I flex here. When I open my shoulders nice and wide, the center of the chest looks less developed. Here, you can see when I hold my arms closer together and flex, it appears that the center of my chest is more defined. Now, when it comes to your choice of selecting exercises, you will have better success 
using exercises that allow you to use appropriate loads to stimulate growth. An exercise like this one here. This is a close grip style of a chest press using a 25 pound plate. Now this exercise I can feel in the center of my chest. We know from EMG data that you're going to get a lot of assistance from triceps. And if you're experiencing a good amount of fatigue in the chest, it's probably metabolic stress that you're getting from higher rep ranges. Although I don't think this is a bad exercise necessarily, each exercise has its purpose. If we want to optimally grow our chest, this type of an exercise is not the best type for you. With flies, we can properly load and is probably one of the better exercises for feeling that inner chest activation. So I do think it rightfully does belong on this list of exercises that are really good for developing that chest. But I think we should all remain a little bit more skeptical when we hear one specific exercise will really target and grow that middle of our chest, similar to how we see one or two exercises being advertised to burn belly fat. We know that's not how it works and this method applies the same to developing our inner chest. All right, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope that was informative for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit subscribe, like if this was helpful. If you guys disagree with what I said, drop a comment and let me know why, and I'll try to look through those comments. And if you have studies that can disprove this theory, I'd love to hear it. Uh, otherwise, you guys know the drill. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.